So today we're going to be talking all about WordPress. Super excited. I love WordPress. Those of you who know me know I love WordPress. Um, but specifically, we are going to be talking about creating a menu and how to navigate that on the back end. What are posts? What are pages? What are categories? We're going to go over it all. So first things first, um, what you'll need to do is kind of get in on the back end of your WordPress. And I want to stress this in the beginning that the things I'm going to show you, some of them might be only geared towards certain themes. Different themes um, have different um, features on the back end. So not all of this is going to you know, relate to your blog, but in a general sense, this is all going to be similar for the WordPress.org, the self-hosted, um, self-hosted people. So, um, to start off with, um, I kind of want to go over a little bit on the sidebar and how to add categories, how to add posts, how to add pages. Um, so we'll just kind of go down the list. So this is in the back end of my, of my blog, my website. So, in the back here, you'll have um, a little section that says posts. And so if you're going to create a new blog post um, that's going to go on your feed, all you would need to do is click add new here and it'll allow you to do that. So one thing I really want to go over though today is I want to help you kind of go through how to create a category, which is right here. And we will go ahead and click on that. So as you can see, I have different categories here. Um, on my blog, some are active, some are not. Um, but what I wanted to show you is how you can quickly just type the name. So like for instance, right here, I have a blogging one. That would be the name of my category. So you'll want to type it here. And then the slug, usually I name it the same thing. Like as you can see, this is the slug for blogging. Um, and I don't normally mess with this parent category. Um, you can have like a parent category or like a hierarchy one, um, but I just kind of leave them all, all parent categories. And then you can type in a description. This is not on my theme. The description does not show. And it actually says right here, the description is not prominent by default. However, some themes may show it. So it kind of depends on your theme. I would play around with it, see if it, you know, shows this um, in the categories field of your, of the category. So if you were to, um, have like a category section, usually I'll have a description right underneath the title of like, let's say blogging, it would just say category blogging. And then the description, mine does not do that. So I do not have anything, but like I said, play around with it, see if yours does. Then once you're done, um, figuring this all out, you'll just hit add new category and it will go on the right or yeah, on the right hand side. So that's how, kind of how you set up a category. The next thing um, I wanted to get into is pages. And I wanted to talk about what the difference between pages and posts are. Um, there's a bunch of different reasons, but the main reasons I wanted to talk about today is I feel like a lot of people get stuck on like, okay, why can't I have like a post in my menu? Um, and I so posts are, basically blog posts, they, um, you can enable comments on the bottom for people to comment. Um, and where pages are, is just like a single page. It's just basically there to, to provide like either like a contact page or about me page. That's why they're called pages. Um, of just like, um, info that you want all in one place and does not have like a blog post field does not have comments or anything like that. Um, so since we've gone over, let's see, let's go into pages and I'm going to go down to add new and this I can go into a whole ton, but for right now, I just wanted to show you that where you can add it is just go down to pages and add new. Um, you would have, you would need to enter a title and then whatever you want to say. So let's just say you're creating about me page. You could even there just say about, about me, and then, you know, a picture and a little bit about who you are, what your blog is about. And then of course, like whenever you're done with a page or post or anything, always make sure if you're finished and ready to go, hit publish. Um, and there you go. So once you get that done, I want to go back in and I want to show you how to work the menu. 
So we'll go into appearance and up to menus. Okay, so this is kind of, this is my menu and how I have it set up. Um, you can do it a bunch of different ways, but I wanted to show you the different um, features and what's possible for you to do. Now, you can see here I have pages, I have custom links, and I have categories, and that's all I have in my menu. I don't have pages, blog, or excuse me, I do have pages. I don't have posts. I don't have blog posts in this, on the menu. So how I go about adding, so let's go ahead and let's just create a new menu, because I wanted to show you how to just start one from scratch. So you'll go up here and it says create a new menu. We will click on that. You'll want to give it a name. So for this one, we'll just do blog test. Okay. We'll create the menu. Okay. So, um, it'll ask you where you want it to display here. So display location. If I click this in my theme, if I want it to be in the primary menu, it'll go directly to the top of my blog post. And I'm going to show you here what that looks like. So this right here is what I have in the menu right now. Um, so that is called the primary menu in my theme. So if I were to check mark this, the new um, menu that I create right here will be the one that goes to the top instead of the one that's already there, if that makes sense. So um, let's say we want to add a few pages. We want to add this be a contributor page. We're going to move that over. So I check marked it here and clicked add to menu and it'll move it over right here. Um, so if I were to click on this, you can change the navigation label. So you could just say contributor or whatever you want to do, guest post, whatever, anything like that. And if you want to remove it, you can just hit this remove button here. Now, if you wanted to put in like a category, you can. So here's all my categories. If I wanted to add the blogging category, we'll go right over here and just add that and it'll show up on the side. And I should note too that this is the order of how it shows up on your blog from left to right. So this will be the first one that shows up. So for instance, my about here would be the first one. So that would be in the same place as this be a contributor on this back end example. Now you can do links as well. And um, so you can link to whatever you want. I have one to, um, I have, a like a sign up form for people that want to, um, start and sign up for a blog coaching call of mine. So that is a link to go to that sign up page. I have a link to this blog course that I have. Then I also have a link to join our Facebook group, which takes them directly to Facebook. So you can have um, there's a ton of different options that you can do where you have a link. Now I get questions all the time asking, okay, so I see you have this categories tab and then you have all these drop downs. Like how do you do that? So I'll go back over here and I want to point out too. So if I were to click right here on categories, it does nothing. It goes nowhere. It doesn't take you to a page. It just is a, just stays right there, which is what you want. You don't want to take them anywhere. Um, so what I recommend you doing is creating a custom link and you will put in here just the hashtag symbol and then the link text. So let's say we wanted to create just the categories, just like I have it in that example. So we'll add to menu. It'll go over to the side. And so then let's say, okay, I want this blogging category to go underneath the categories. You can simply drag it and drop it, but this wouldn't be underneath. It wouldn't be a sub item. That's what these are. These are all sub items underneath um, this link. So what I would have to do is just slide it over and now it's considered a sub item. So now it would be a drop down. 
So let's say I wanted to add another, oops, let's add another category. Let's add, oh, let's add a fashion category. So we just add that to menu. It'll go below. And if I want it to go underneath categories again, you just slide it over. And once again, so it goes under sub item. With these, you can also change the label. You can also remove them. Um, and yeah, um, so once you get it set up and how you want it to how you want it to be, you would just need to go over here and save the menu once you're done. And we'll just go ahead and save that. Now I wanted to show you how you can add this. You can also add menus to your sidebar. It's different for every theme, but you can add them to your sidebar. There's um, instances where you can add them to your footer. Um, too. So there's different ways to play around with this. I'll show you on the back end how I can do sidebar. So if you go up to appearance, go down, let me see, here, go down to widgets. So this will be all, basically, this is the layout for my sidebar. So I'll scroll down here. All of these things, this about, social media, everything on the widgets is all in this widgets area of the back end of your blog. So all of these is what you just saw on the sidebar of mine. So let's say, so we'll take this out of here, I already created that. So you can go down, and this varies per, for every theme, but you can go down um, and see if it has like a custom menu. A lot of themes do, but not all. And I wanna, and I wanna make a point of that to begin with. So if it does, take this custom menu, and if you want it in the sidebar, you would just need to drag it over here. Let's say I want it at the bottom. And you would need to select which menu you want. And so we just did this blog test. We'll select that. And we can give it a title too. We can just say blog test. And make sure to save that. Okay, so then one thing I want to show you is to refresh it, you know, you can um, go visit your site. So let's see if it's down there. We'll scroll all the way to the bottom. And there it is. So this is all we have right now. And so you can see that with the drop down, you can go to blogging and fashion and it would take you right to the category. So, um, so yeah, so these are all of the posts that I have labeled under the category called blogging. So now that we have, we'll go back to the dashboard here. So now we have set up a menu. Um, and like I said, I wanna go back in here, go to menus. So I'll show you the layout of my primary. You'll need to select it. So whatever menu you want, you'll need to click select. So this is what I have now. So since it's categorized under your primary, that always goes to the top of my blog. And this might vary, like I said, per theme, but I want to stress that's how that is able to go to the top of my blog page. Okay, so whenever I'm creating a post, I'll go into my post. I want to show you how to categorize blog posts. So we'll go into this one that I just did. This went live today. Um, so I want to go down. Okay, I missed it. Okay, so here's all my categories. So whatever I have checked mark, that is what category this blog post would get related to or fixated with. So let's say I want it to go under blogging and I want to go under design. So see it says primary, make primary. So you can have one that's primary or over the other. And if you don't have a category and you're creating this blog post and you realize, oh, hey, I don't have a category for that. I want to create a new one. All you have to do is add this new category and it'll just ask you um, what you want it to name. 
what you want it named, um, and then you would just have, you just click add new category and it would add it and it would be applied to the blog post that you're creating.